Sarah, I will drop you by Karen's cafe. Have your cup of coffee, then I will come pick you in a few minutes. Thanks, Victor, for accompanying me. I won't take time. Please remember to buy the toll trees. Yes, I will. Hello, Sarah. I see that you have been pondering on how to grow intimate with God. Yes, I have. I want to deepen my relationship with God, but I'm having trouble understanding why it comes at a price. Isn't God supposed to be loving and forgiving? Indeed, God's love and forgiveness are boundless. However, intimacy with God requires certain sacrifices on our part. It's not about punishment, but about the transformative nature of the relationship. Transformative nature? What do you mean? We often have attachments in our lives that prevent us from truly surrendering to God. These attachments can be anything that distracts us or holds us back from prioritizing our relationship with Him. Ah, I see. It's about letting go of the things that come between me and God. Exactly. It can be material possessions, unhealthy habits, or even relationships that no longer align with your spiritual growth. Sacrifices are required to free up space and time for God, allowing Him to reveal Himself more intimately to you. That makes sense, but it still sounds difficult. How do I know what to sacrifice? Good question. Reflect on what consumes your time and energy the most. Is it something that uplifts your spirit or draws you away from God? Identify what truly matters to you and align it with your spiritual journey. So, it's about reevaluating my priorities and making conscious choices? Absolutely. It's a personal journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. By sacrificing distractions and focusing on your relationship with God, you open the door to a deeper, more intimate connection with Him. I'm ready to make those sacrifices. I want to experience that level of intimacy. That's wonderful, Sarah. Remember, sacrifices require effort and commitment, but the rewards far outweigh the challenges. God's love and guidance will fill your heart in ways you couldn't imagine. Thank you for guiding me, Karen. I now understand that the price of intimacy with God is well worth paying. You're welcome, Sarah. Embrace this journey, and may your relationship with God deepen and flourish. Sarah, let's go. I am behind time. Okay, Victor, we are done here. I will join you shortly in the car.